Well, there's a man here beside me now, and he's neither stranger to television nor to traditional music. I'd like you to give a very special welcome to Finn Barr Fury. Hey. Hi, Finn Barr, you're very welcome. Thanks very much indeed. Now, as a piper, you take a special interest in, in the care and, and the making even of reeds for pipes, isn't that right? Yeah, well, I find that uh, I was talking to you earlier on about uh, the young pipers in Ireland at the moment because uh, reed making is, is a dying art at the moment in Ireland. Mm. And uh, until somebody sort of gets a little school together where they can teach the kids how to make reeds, the pipes are going to suffer really badly because you're getting a lot of young pipers <clears throat> going on the road at the moment and they don't know how to make a reed. Mm. They play great pipes, but they can't make reeds for the pipes. Uh, the first thing I was taught when I was uh, picked this instrument up first was to make a reed. And Danny Dowd was one of the great helpers I had. Mm. Danny taught me first. I'm going to show you the, the chanter reed here, for instance. Now, this is a, my favourite reed. Anybody even looks at it bad, it's, <laughs> they've had it. <laughs> and uh, they're that tender, you know, they're like a... Uh, they're like a good woman, you look after them, you know, they look after you. <laughs> anyway, you know, the, it's very easy at the moment for uh, for the young kids now making reeds because years ago we had to do, when I first started off making reeds, we had to uh, make the staple out of copper mm -hmm. and then bend it over and just this part on the inside and just whip it out. And so the inner pipe there. This part it? here. And uh, now you can buy it in tubing and in the brass and you can, it's, it works the exact same. And the only thing you have to worry about is the staple here, this, the belt. And uh, years ago, they used to make the reeds of um, elder mm -hmm. for the pipes. But now it's all Spanish cane and California cane. So we don't know what we're doing, you know. We're being spoiled. Well, but, um, who, who did you uh, learn the pipes from then when you started off? I mean, your father was a fiddler. Well, I had, I was a very lucky young fellow, actually. You know, uh, we grew up in Ballyfermot when we were kids. And um, we were on the road before that, my father. Um, been a musician, a busker, if you like. Yeah. And uh, I had three teachers in Bally Fairman. That was my father, first of all, and a man by the name of Johnny Keenan. That's Paddy Keenan's father. And another a great pal of mine who taught me an awful lot about pipes, and a man I owe an awful lot to, is a man called Tommy Moore. Mm. And uh, Tommy was a great piper himself. So um, myself and Paddy, in a way, were very lucky to have these three teachers uh, to help us. And, of course, we had Felix Dorden dropping over and Felix okay, used yeah. to stay with, in the house with my father and mother. So the house was always full. And the odd time, Seamus Sennis would be there for the weekend, you know. So it was one of these houses, the music didn't stop. Oh, I see. And, uh, well, well, you're going to give us a, a blast now of, of, of will, yeah. one of those tunes that you learned long ago. What's this I'm, going to be? I'm going to play a piece of music called Spalpy in the Ruin. Close slower, the pipes. Perfect.
Shamus and Rincor, Shamus and Mafelum Castle, fair play of work, and to Lawn the Viotta, Bergamo, 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 Chain on my mask was going to be ready, dude. Do you have room for a dancer? Actually, yeah, we could do it. I'll fair play. I'll change your photo after a while, anyways. I'm very excited to see you on the show. I'm going to kill Kiran, Garn, and Gunnamara. I'm going to kill Kiran, Garn, and Gunnamara.